Here's something interesting. In August uh, 2009, in the Journal of uh, Agriculture and Food Chemistry, there was a very significant study published there showing that uh, green tea extract could actually increase bone density. It was an animal study, but it was significant because it tends to feed into the body of evidence that we've seen before that you know, green tea is so good for you. And these antioxidants in green tea, uh, these polyphenolic compounds, particularly the catechins, uh, seem to be beneficial at stimulating bones to increase their activity to increase bone density. There's a lot of osteoporosis going on in the world today, as you know. So anything that we can do to decrease risk of osteoporosis is significant. Now previously in a podcast like this, I talked about the finding that the catechins from decaffeinated green tea were able to enhance weight loss in people who were overweight by increasing thermogenesis. That means you burn fat at a faster rate even while you're sleeping. And by releasing fat into the bloodstream from the fat cells so the muscles could burn the fat when you are exercising. So studies are now showing that the catechins from green tea extract are significant in helping you to burn body fat more efficiently. If they can also help to increase your bone density at the same time, that would be a double or a triple bonus actually. This animal study showed that the catechins from green tea could actually stimulate what's called osteoblastic activity, increasing more bone density development, and inhibit what's called osteoclastic activity, inhibiting the, the breakdown of bone. So the net effect is that you actually could possibly be gaining bone through the effects of uh, green tea catechins. This sort of, uh, we saw this earlier in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2007. A uh, study comparing tea drinkers to non-tea drinkers and we see that bone density was almost 3% higher in people that drink tea routinely compared to people who tend not to drink tea. So the thing is that green tea has more of these catechin compounds than black tea. I always get that question, what about black tea? Green tea is about 30 to 40% of these polyphenolic compounds of which many of them are catechins. Whereas black tea, which is really just green tea that's undergone a fermentation process, is only about 3 to 10 percent of these catechin uh, components or polyphenolic components. So there is some there, but green tea is a, just a much richer source. And we see from the rat study that it's a particular catechin known as the epigallocatechin component of the total catechin uh, profile our constituents that actually stimulates that bone building activity on bone. If we have to narrow it down to one particular constituent, it seems to be that epigallocatechin compound. So I had put uh, these decaffeinated green tea catechins into the Adiva product called Body Burn because it helps to burn fat more efficiently. I put 200 milligrams in each capsule along with chromium and hydroxycitric acid. And so the idea is you take three capsules a day, so you'd be getting 600 milligrams of decaffeinated green tea, of which a high percentage of it actually are these catechin components, not only to help you burn fat more efficient, efficiently, but now there's this notion that it may actually be helping to support your bone density as well. Anyway, this is one more reason to think about drinking green tea instead of coffee. Maybe two to three cups of green tea a day. It doesn't mean you can't have coffee. It's not that coffee is so bad for you. But green tea certainly has all these additional benefits you just don't get from drinking coffee, it seems. And or taking that body burn product uh, to uh, give you some additional catechins. Not a bad idea, especially if you want to lose weight regulate your blood sugar more efficiently. If you're an athlete and you're looking to improve athletic performance, it can help you do that as well. And now these catechin compounds in there from the experimental evidence we have and from the, the observation studies on humans may actually be helping to preserve your bone density. Remember that one in four women and one in eight men over the age of 50 already have osteoporosis and it's a significant health burden today. So anything you can do to help reduce your risk uh, very, you have to really pay attention to it.